very often when working with spreadsheets, you're going to find yourself making mistakes. Fortunately, with spreadsheets, you always have the option to uh, undo or redo the changes that you just made. Now, I have here data for income, expenses, and profit for the year. All of the income and expenses data was entered manually. The remaining of the data is just formulas and functions. So let's say I just realized that the data I entered here is wrong. I took it from the wrong data set and I want to uh, delete it. I don't want to delete my formulas because the formulas still are going to work. I just need to delete the numbers. So I selected them all, I delete it. And then I start to type in my new data set. Halfway through, I realize, oh, oh no, uh, the data set that I had before was actually right. So I want to revert back to what I had before. Now there's a couple of ways of doing that. The first, is, the first and simplest is to take your cursor up left to undo and click on it. Each time you click it, it's going to reverse your last action. So see, it's removing the numbers that I just typed one by one up until the point where it brings back my first action, which was to delete the existing data set. Okay, so I'm back to the beginning. I have my, all my data back again, I'm happy. And then I realize again, oh no, actually, it was a mistake and I had to replace the numbers. So I also have the opportunity to use the redo button. So I just start clicking on it and it brings back all of the actions that I had taken up until the last one. Once I'm done, you can keep clicking and nothing is going to happen. The same things that we did here by clicking on undo and redo can be done with uh, your keyboard shortcuts. If you hover over, you will see what the shortcut is for your computer. For me, I'm using a Mac. It is Command Z for undo and Command Y for redo. For uh, other computers, it's normally Control Z and Command Y. So let me do Command Z here. It's going to undo my changes again and I'm back to the original. Command Y and it's going to redo my changes and I'm back to the last change I had made. 